Hello and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by videorm1.co.cc and today in this tutorial we are going to look how you can make your own flash banner so first let's go I want to show you what we are going to make what is a flash banner here to make it this one I just made it a moment ago this one here welcome to videorm whatever and let's go ahead and get started let's get started by clicking file new and it will be on general let's change it to template and go down here to 468 times 60 minus full banner like here and then just press ok then it will take you on this page it will bring you here and we bring a little square a white blank paper blank and like now you need to fill it with your own colors so let's go ahead and start by clicking on a rectangle tool with that which is here you can press the R key on your keyboard R and it will take you to the uh, rectangle tool now let's go ahead and fill color which is like here you can see the pocket bucket here and then you say fill color next to it and let's go ahead down here you have to choose one of these down here uh, let's say you want to choose blue I'm going to choose blue the go carefully right here all the way just take it take it and leave it just make sure it's full you make sure you're gonna it's gonna feed the whole bank white uh, square so now drop it there you go then we bring this color it's like dark blue a little bit like that and then now let's go ahead and add these things right here, the brown thing right here, the brown. Let's go ahead and add there. How you do that? It's go click on these tools up here. Click on selection tool, and now go ahead and choose another color. Let's choose this one. Oh no, wait, wait, I'm not my one. Let's keep this one on. Selection tool. So wait, I need to fix something here. Alright. Now let's go ahead and click on selection tool. And let's go ahead and click on selection tool in here. Now let's go ahead and make a little right here. And they see it bring on the top right here. Just do same thing. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make a new layer by clicking here, new layer, and click on the text tool. Press on the T on the keyboard. And just click on the in the middle and add a text. And yeah, now let's go ahead and change the color of it. Let's change it to white. Click on the selection tool again and move it out. We should change the color of the text to blue. And we should change the color text to whatever kind of text we want. Let's say we want this one. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a new layer. Now wait. On the layer two, find find a way that you wanna time it. Time it. This is a timeline. Like you wanna put it to five, ten, or ten, or five, or fifteen. Let's go ahead and put it to. Uh, 15 so just go ahead uh, right click and go all the way down to insert keyframe which is right here and it's gonna show same as before we saw it but don't worry about that we we'll make it way better and just go ahead and take this and drop it in the middle and click on the 25 25 right click 
install the keyframe and take it out and now click on layer 1 and click on the end you see right here on the end of where you, you, you add the keyframe click right here on the end then right click click on this one don't click on install keyframe install frame by clicking here then we bring our uh, the background back which we want it now let's go ahead and click file and publish preview and flash and see you got it here let me just make it big see it goes from all the way to here yeah let's go ahead now and vi uh, view it in a in a firefox publish default and look you see it and that's how it is that's how you make it thank you for watching and i'm going to show you that the last thing how to save it just go save us no no wait don't save us just go ahead file publish setting and uncheck this one html uncheck it and click on the first folder and you can save it whatever you want like me i want to save it to intro and stuff like that and just name it dot swf and save and you're done you can go ahead and put it in your website or whatever you want to put it thank you for watching this video please like subscribe and comment and I'll be showing and you I'll be posting a new tutorials every week if you uh, if you want to know about something or questions if you have a question just go ahead and comment thank you so much and I'll see you for the next tutorial see ya